Okay, so this is where we had our, our well, little snack. Uh, we were walking just over there. And I like it up here, it's nice. Do get the odd loud um, little party of people, but it's nice to um, sit and have a little snack while you watch. Hello, Gary. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. <laughs> So I'm going to pause it then while I exit this building, otherwise you don't want to see me fall down the stairs and I will then um, catch up with you once we get outside. Okay, before I go outside I thought you might like to see what it's like in a bar. This is quite a big one, um, but in the UK this is a Weatherspoons bar. So we've got this kind of bar upstairs, <clears throat> this is where we just were. Got a little place where they do the serveries, got the odd... Um, this is where you get your free coffee. Although there are machines, it's there. <coughs> so we come along. <coughs> I've exited through this door here to the balcony where we were sitting. But then if you get to this area, this is the main bar. So it's got the upstairs, obviously you get seating all the way around. There's another balcony out that side, but it's not particularly attractive. So more places where they serve the food and this is the nice big bar. Incidentally, I've never seen such a gigantic toilet in my entire life as the one in here. Okay, so now we're going to go down what does not look like um, the Titanic stairs. But um, yeah, the windy staircase. I'm going to pause it, otherwise I will fall. Okay, so this is the part of Ramsgate that I used to bring my children to when they were little. So you've got the old-fashioned telephone boxes and the harbour where we've just been. But this way, that's the casino. And you get the odd amusement arcade, ice cream mm. shop. Now we've got Turkish restaurants. But this, as I said, this building that they're working on used to be a really cool, <laughs> like, long amusement arcade that um, had one of those things like a jungle gym inside with the kind of swing that you hang on to and you know I can't remember what they're called um, but it was pretty cool and along here used to be a place to get tea like there and then the entrance to the beach which is just down this slope so this is the slope that leads down to the beach it's quite a nice beach it's sand around the corner in Margate it's powder but this is more of a kind of a substantial gritty sand but you can still make really nice sand castles and everything else that's the bottom of the pavilion so we were eating just up there where that balcony is roughly where that seagull is and uh, we're this side now and this is the beach now there's a little cafe bar and rides for kids but um, yeah I've spent many many days on this beach making forts and sand castles in the sand well <clears throat> not sure whether to walk on it though or to walk along the top and have a view of it so that might be the best bet otherwise i shall have um shoes full of sand just going to pause it for a moment oh, okay this is what we're making uh, here uh, well it was one of the top 10 uk seaside destinations in 2020 wasn't that the year of the lockdown and nobody could go anywhere you know just saying anyway this is what they're building um bring the seaside inside sort of thing will be a pretty penny that's for sure spacious open plan living there used to be murals along here that um you know kids kind of drew i think that might be a bit further on they've still got some where they're finished but um, yeah, Royal Sands it's called. This is a Royal Harbour and um, as you saw the sign. Okay, so I thought he was a statue, but no, he's not. And we've got some very dry palm trees. Swing boats, my goodness, remember those. Okay, so I'm going to go down these steps.
There we go, we can walk along the beach. It's a bit noisy though, with all the work that's being done. So although it's uh, prettier than my beach walk the other day with the sea being in and the sand, we've got <laughs> building work noise. So uh, he can't win, can you really? It's one thing or another. But yeah, kids used to skateboard along here when they were little and play along these. Used to scoot down there on their backside. Holes in their shorts, in their pants. Never listened, always did it. Mind you, so did I when I was a little girl, but I never had them that rough and uneven. They were always kind of smooth when I did it. Still got a bit of a burnt bottom though. And um, a little lookout post here. Let's go and see what it looks like. You can hear the sound of the waves though. That's what I really like. I hope the wind isn't too strong. It's just a sea breeze, but it does sometimes sound like a gale. to get out for the day and see some some sand and some open spaces Another little cafe but it's closed so you can sit on the tables and chairs and drink in the view which is pretty now some people have moved in up there and they have these views forever very nice wonder how much they are wouldn't that be fun to find out Gary only said it as we were here, I would like, wouldn't mind living here, you know. <laughs> there was a time when it was quite cheap to live here. Um, it's not cheap to live anywhere anymore, but um, because there wasn't the work here, I get a view of the apartments. That's what you'd be looking at. Obviously the top one's the best one. Get the best view, the best balcony. What on earth is that? Is that an umbrella? It could be. Very strange. Okay, so I've got a little bit more pebbles and seaweed on this part of the beach. It's not been dredged. They quite often do, but maybe they do that more so during the school holiday. So that bit is the end up there where the wall is and you can see the water lapping against the wall there's a little bit further round but not really much up there this used to be all archways along here and you could park in them they're all gone now though they're all part of this new snazzy development and then of course there's houses up the top that's a road you go all the way to the end and you go round and up and then you go up this road here so there is no further road it just goes in a back on itself and climbs up so you can see the rooftops and the houses up there but, um, that's it that's the beach and that's how far we've come now we're gonna go and have a look at the new part of the marina that we've not I say new it's probably not it's just new to us because I've never been up there before but apparently there are bars cafes and galleries so it might be nice to look um, the guy who was working on that little tugboat he did say it's really pretty up there so I'm gonna go and have a little look see what I can find anyway that's uh, my little kind of walk along the, the beachfront thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one